Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Catherine and today I'm going to be going over how I teach my improv class. I have a few classes on out school. Most of them are very interactive, very engaging like this. I have a Harry Potter class and I explain it all in my how to teach an out school class video. So if you haven't watched that, please go watch it. But I'm just going to give a little blurb of what I said in there and then explain how my improv out school class works. So to help you if you need it. So this video is going to be pretty short. So in your classes, there's no wrong way to teach, but just to give you ideas of how to fill in your classes, you can do a little bit of lecture and then a little bit of trivia, games, quizzes. There's more to it that are not coming to my head right now, but you can really do a lot in out school and there's no wrong way to teach. So if you just want a whole class on lecturing, you can do that. If you want a whole class on games, you can do that because... <laughs> This class is all about games. So in my improv class, I have a little PowerPoint on Google Slides. So I made a little short PowerPoint. It just goes over what improv is about, what the rules of improv are, and then I can just kind of like skim over some games that we might play. We usually play like anywhere from like three to five to six games. Depends how many students are in the class, how much time we have, and yeah. I spend the first five to ten minutes just, you know, t talking with the students, asking them if they've seen the show Whose Line Is It Anyway? Because <laughs> my class is called Whose Class Is It Anyway? Improv Games. Do you get it? Please leave a comment if you've seen Who Li Whose Line Is It Anyway? Like, I've been watching that show, I remember watching it when I was in first grade. And I didn't get the jokes in when I was in first grade. <laughs> but I get them now. And then, like, they rebooted it a couple years ago, and I just... I just love Whose Line Is It Anyway. But none I think one kid in my class all the classes that I've taught so far gets the reference because his dad got the reference and made let him watch an episode of whose line is it anyway okay I'm rambling now but please let me know if you've seen whose line is it anyway and if so who's your favorite character <laughs> character I love Wayne Brady I love Ryan and Colin too I think they're hilarious together but like Wayne Brady is just he's just so good at everything he does okay this is not the point anymore. I'm sorry for my rant. Moving on. So I have a short PowerPoint where I go over everything, how it's done, blah, blah, blah. And after that, I go over games. I have a journal that I keep right here. And I just, you know, took an afternoon and watched some YouTube videos about, you know, improv games that you can teach online. Um, I've also taught a lot of improv classes before, so I made sure to include that in my class video. Like, I've... Taught, I've taken improv classes before, I'm a level 2 improv student at the moment, and you know, I'd love to share the games that we play, um, but yeah, and I just have like, like we play World's Wars, they love World's Wars, so these are just a bunch of suggestions, and I don't know, it's very helpful for when I teach, because I don't, we don't play every single game, there's like 8 or 9 games here, and some of them don't work out, like I tried to do one word story with them one time, which, you know, it's like 3 people, and you each say one word to make a story, and not raving reviews, but they love, love World's Worst story scenes from the hat, so, the hat, <laughs> scenes from a hat, so, anyway, that's pretty much how I teach, I go through, and I make sure everyone is playing, I make sure everyone is engaged in that class, I've gotten some really, really sweet, very touching parent reviews, I don't know if you're a parent and you're watching this right now, but thank you for those very sweet reviews, just saying, you know, like, my, my child's really shy, and, you know, Catherine, really drew her into class, made her feel a part of it. So it's super important to not only the students who are shy or like, you know, reserved, but they want to be involved, but it's more to the parents too, you know? Anyway, it makes me tear up if I think about it, but <laughs> I don't know why, I don't know why. Okay, we're cutting that up. It just warms my heart. So anyway, I make sure everyone has a turn. So if someone's not participating or raising their hand, I'm always like, hey, Sally, do you have an idea for world's worst teacher? And they're like, Yes, and then they do it, and we have a great time. Definitely for interactive classes like that, or game classes like that, make sure everyone's involved, everyone's doing something. It's just, it's, that's very important to me, so. I spend, like, maybe five to ten minutes on the games. Depends how much fun they're having. <laughs> if they're like, this game sucks, then I might go to the next one. But I make sure everyone gets to play the game before moving on to the next improv game, so. Anyway, I hope this helps you if you want to do some sort of like game class or, you know, fun, very interactive class. That's how I teach my improv class and I love my improv class. It is so much fun. So anyway, thank you so much for being here. I hope this was helpful and 
if you'd like to apply to OutSchool, my application link is in the bio or in the description. Same, same. By using my link, I really appreciate it. It helps me a ton and I have a whole website dedicated to helping you get through the application process and you're always welcome to email me with any questions. My email is heycatherinedavis at gmail.com. So yes, please don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.